Dear Texas Tech University community, following spring break, all classes scheduled for March 23rd through the 27th are canceled. March 30th, classes will resume via online instruction. I packed my bag and headed home to Stratford, Texas, with a return date unknown. I lost the chance to say bye to my college friends, and I had to say hi to the new normal. When I got to Stratford, it seemed like everything remained the same, unchanged by COVID-19. It was refreshing to sit down in the restaurant talking to others about the pandemic and questioning its severity. A week later, the impact of COVID-19 was a little closer to home. Greg Abbott, governor of Texas, issued a statewide order to stay home on April 2nd through April 30th. This shut down all businesses deemed unessential and schools will not open for the rest of the year. When I went to the grocery store, the shelves were empty. You couldn't find toilet paper, dairy products, cereal, or any cleaning supplies. This made me wonder if our town of only 2,000 was taking this seriously. Among this time of anxiety, stress, and worry, I got to watch one of our horses have her baby. This baby was something that brought happiness to this crazy world in a crazy time. As the weeks went by, we were expecting another colt to hit the ground. We waited anxiously when finally we were blessed with another little boy. COVID-19 didn't just affect our daily lives, it affected our mental health. As someone who struggles with anxiety and depression, this pandemic took a toll on my health. I'm not one who likes change, and that's all that's taken place. I have temporarily moved back home, and I'm finishing my last spring semester at Texas Tech online. Not knowing what the future holds, all I knew is I had to take care of myself. I found new ways to take up the time that would have been spent watching the news, scrolling through social media, and watching too many TikToks. I started to do crafts. I made blankets, front doormats, and I taught myself to do portrait illustrations. These activities took all my attention and focus. That meant I wasn't thinking about COVID-19. April 20th was the first confirmed case in Stratford. This was a lot to handle because it was affecting people I knew. Each day, the cases continued to increase. This pandemic has taken the world and completely shut it down. It has caused panic and worry. This virus has caused family to lose their loved ones, people to lose jobs because the businesses can't afford to stay open, and the classes of 2020 to lose many of their last. As Americans, we are known as fighters and will come back from this stronger than before. As a college student, I was taught to take the unexpected and adjust. There is a quote I wanna share with you. There are gonna be very painful moments in your life that will change your entire world in a matter of minutes. These moments will change you. Let them make you stronger, smarter, and kinder. But don't go and become someone you're not. Cry, scream if you have to, and then go straighten out that crown and keep on moving. As I look forward, there are many questions still unanswered. Will I be able to walk the stage in August? Will we have football next season? What's going to happen if we can't get this under control? This virus has affected each person in a different way. And I'm just a single person, a single voice among many. But this is my COVID-19 story.